Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jay and this is the channel where I talk about uh, my love for sewing, everything I've made and everything related to sewing. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through September's Birder and this edition of the Camden Stitch Birder is sponsored by Diane Kelsey, who very, 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 very kindly bought me a copy of Birder and sent it to me because I couldn't find it anywhere in London. Anyway, I've now subscribed, I've heard let's say mixed things and when I say mixed I mean crap things about bird of subscription service um which is what has put me off subscribing in the past but this month none of WH Smiths in London have had birder at all I've not been able to find a copy anywhere I mean when I say everyone I mean like Euston, St Pancras and King's Cross the places that normally have it haven't had it so um thank you so much diane she didn't want any money for it she didn't want a uh, postage or anything she just sent it out of sheer kindness and that sort of kindness is something that is just like the most wonderful thing about the sewing community uh, so i'm really grateful to her and i hope you all enjoy this little roam through birder and normally i review birder every month uh, i'm sorry if you've missed it over the summer to be honest the last couple have not been so great in my opinion and I've thought about reviewing them but I didn't want to just come on and say oh I don't think this edition's very good so um, this what this edition September's is a bit more promising I do find that the uh, sort of autumn winter season tends to be a bit more interesting really in terms of what they offer I think that's because I really like outerwear and in the summer you tend to have very kind of simple like beach beachwear and stuff like that which I find a bit boring if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed please click on the subscribe button because it means a, a real lot to me to know that this channel is going out and being watched by people and they're appreciating it and even though this channel might come up in your little suggested panel that doesn't mean that you subscribe to it so please just have a look at the subscribe button if it says subscribe there then you're not subscribed yet so just click on it and it will give me a little warm glow it has been 70 years of birder and they've had some quite interesting articles about the history of the magazine and about how the magazine is made and stuff like that which i've quite enjoyed um, in this edition, they've done a article on the history of the sewing machine, which I enjoyed having a little read of because I'm a bit of a historian, history buff. The first pattern that they've got is the trend pattern and it's about pastel colours and it's this jacket with a peplum and I really like it. It's high neck, no collar. Uh, but the peplum's really cute it's got this sort of pleat in it and I don't really like ordinary peplums just because they don't look great on me I don't know why um but I really like the look of this uh, yeah and they've got this interesting shoulder that's like it's not quite a raglan by the way this um blouse that I'm wearing is from a vintage pattern I'll put a little picture of it in um and it's made from some cotton lawn that I got from Sew Me Sunshine so next up we have got a leather skirt which looks absolutely gorgeous on the model but this is a big but it's got a honking great seam over the hip and that to me would just be like putting a great big neon arrow going look at my big childbearing hips um obviously it looks great on the model who's like a size zero and i like the fact they've made it in leather um, it looks gorgeous like a burgundy leather but wouldn't be for me next up they've got a cocoon coat that I really really like I would definitely consider making that except I've got another birder cocoon coat in my to sew queue that I like a little bit more that's got like ribbing on um, I'll pop a little picture in if I can find it then we have a wrap dress now you may know my love-hate relationship with wrap dresses i don't know i don't really wear them they don't look good on me i find them difficult to fit but this as they go i think is really nice it's got little puff sleeves and a full skirt they have styled it with some crazy boots which i do like but they look bizarre with this outfit 
and this gorgeous little belt but they show you how to make it in an article um, this little pearl and grey grain ribbon belt really lovely then we've got this blouse that I love and look at those shades I think they're Gucci yeah they are amazing amazing I don't know if I can get there's a website that I go on that you can get some knockoff Gucci shades and I might go and have a look to see if I can get some like that because they are they're a bit Elton John then we've got the petite pattern which looks like one of their retro patterns but it isn't actually the retro pattern um but it's really pretty it's got these pleats in the bodice and i love those tights i'm a real sucker for those sort of fishnet tights uh, then we've got some slacks which i have to say are beautifully made I don't think I'd ever wear trousers like that. Well, I probably will when I'm elderly. Then we have got the sewing lesson, which is this beautiful, beautiful coat that they've made in like a, a, um, a sort of pale aqua brushed wool. It just looks lovely. And it's got these pearl buttons that again, they show you how to make. It's really beautiful. I don't think I'd make that because to be honest, if I was going to make a coat that needed that much work, I would buy a paper pattern because although the sewing lesson has got in detail instructions about how to sew it, Birda have their own style of constructing things and I don't like it. Um, I've sewn with some Birda paper patterns, you know, the ones that you just get from the sort of commercial patterns. and. Yeah, they have some really kind of weird roundabout ways of constructing patterns. They they like to market themselves that there is the Birder style academy way of sewing. And I know if you ever watch Hela, who is Saturday Night Stitch YouTube channel, I really love her YouTube channel. Um, she paid to become a birder instructor and talked about the birder style way of sewing um, and she said that she didn't really like it either um, I like the birder patterns that basically you don't need to follow the directions for you know that they're just simple things that have got the same way of constructing and you know you know your own way how you like to put in an invisible zip or whatever i don't like to be bothering reading other people's instructions i just like i prefer to do it myself right then we've got oh this is an interesting she's wearing a hairnet over a face so this shows you how to make the belt it's beautiful i mean i've read how to make it it's a faff I wouldn't be bothered doing it but it looks gorgeous I don't think I'm going to be wearing a hairnet over my face though I mean I'm all for avant-garde but then we've got a little instruction on how to make the crystal buttons that are basically like little tiny brooches they are just gorgeous that go on the coat right now we've got the um peplum jacket again in a red jacquard that looks really nice she's doing an interesting pose i'm not going to say what that pose is reminiscent of because it's crude to be honest but i'll let your own i'll let you make your own mind up um then we've got a blouse which i really love it's got this sh uh, gathering at the shoulders um, bell sleeves which is a bit similar to the ones I'm wearing and that looks really you know that's that would be an easy thing that you wouldn't need to read the instruction for and that would also be really easy to make as a dress if you just elongated the side seams it'd just be a pretty a-line dress then we've got the um, slacks again which they've made in an amazing print they do get really good fabrics for birder style, I have to say. Um, I like the look of those. Then we've got a top with sort of pin tucks or pleats down the front. And 
Then we got a jumpsuit. Now, my issue with this type of jumpsuit is if I, like I don't have a problem with the whole going to the loo in a jumpsuit thing, I can manage that. But I do have a problem with a back button opening. Um, I find it really fiddly, like I really want a side seam kind of thing if I'm going to be going to the loo in a jumpsuit. I don't want to be faffing about at the back because I don't know, especially when I've got my long fingernails on, it's difficult to do them up. But I do really like this jumpsuit. Then we've got the pleaty pleaty dress again. Now we've got a jacket, which is the um, the wool coat that's just been shortened. And again, I really like this style of jacket. It's kind of retro, I suppose, it's a bit 60s with the double breasted and the big collar, but I really like that. Then we've got the wrap dress again. Now, you know my relationship with Berda and Athleisure. I actually like the look of this. They've made it up in kind of a, like a scuba fabric. It's quite a kind of different way of, it's just like a tracksuit top, I suppose I'd call it. But yeah, they've made it up in a really nice jersey print and I really like the look of that. That's quite a good staple to have in your wardrobe, I think. Then we have a skirt, which is their tall pattern, and it's just a very simple A-line skirt with a flounce. The sewing lesson is for the tracksuit top, so that would be a good one if you're sort of new to sewing burda, because it hasn't got many pattern pieces. It's got one, two, three, four, five pattern pieces, so not too much of a nightmare to trace out. Next up, we've got a kind of funnel neck top that they've made in like a quilted fabric and I do really like that bit it's called a sleeveless jumper and what I find is if it's cool enough for me to want to wear a high necked jumper then I want it to have sleeves I just wouldn't wear like I've got some polo neck short sleeve tops and although I really like the look of them I just never ever wear them if I want to wear a high neck then I need sleeves Then we've got a really simple pull-on t-shirt, which is, I don't know if it's jersey. Yeah, it's for stretch fabrics. And it's got a tie at the bottom, which is in at the moment. I think that Helen's Closet Gilbert Top's got a tie at the bottom, hasn't it? Personally, not my, not my scene at all, but they seem to be in fash at the moment. Then we've got this beautiful blouse, which really reminds me of this turquoise one I used to have with was like a chiffon with like dobby spots on it and it had these buttons up here and a high neck and this blouse is really really similar and it's just beautiful I really like the look of that then we've got the tracksuit top but with a hood on it so if you were interested in like if you have, have, haven't got a pattern for your for a hoodie in your wardrobe then this is a good one Then we've got the little top with the front pleats that's been made into a dress. Again, I really like that. They've got this um, kind of shirt tail detailing on it, which I think looks really cute. Then we've got the cocoon coat again, which for me is like the standout in this, well, maybe that and the other coat in this edition of Birda. The jumpsuit they've made in a plain yellow and used it like as a layering piece. I'm not sure I'm loving it to be honest. Not sure. It's got this piping on the bottom that I feel is a bit reminiscent of the pyjama trousers. Then another, oh this is the trend pattern actually, um, cargo trousers and I do really like them. They've got a pleat down the front which I think looks really kind of different. And they've got the cargo pocket really low. I do think these are really cool. I would definitely consider making these, but to be honest, I would make them from a, I'd adapt them from a pattern that I've already got that fits me. While I've been off, I've been doing loads of uh, pant fitting. I've sort of been trying to crack the thorny issue of the crotch curve and 
it's quite a lot of work to get a pair of pants to fit you I mean I haven't I haven't cracked it yet but once I do I'll be kind of using those as a master pattern but I really like this pattern I think they're really nice then we got some kids patterns as always I wish they were in adult sizes to indulge my toddler style um cutie cutie pinafore cutie cutie jumper with a pom-pom on the back which is a knitting pattern then we've got a little t-shirt some tiny little leggings a onesie they're just all adorable then the craft pattern is a pencil case which is okay but really like you're not going to have there's a million pencil case patterns out there then we are on to the uh, extended size range patterns and to be honest I am a bit disappointed with these birder style um, they are just always so boring compared to the other patterns we start off with a v-neck tunic top which I'm sure they just do in every every um, issue then we've got the same top but with some ties around the neck and also ties at the sleeves now I really like the um, the version, the sample that they've sewn up. I think that it looks really nice in the shirting that they've used. Then we've got a suit that I really like with elastic back slacks, which to me are a little bit um, Marks and Spencer's old lady trousers. I've been having some experiences with those myself because I made some trousers that look very, very like that recently. I've got a really short inside leg. It's like 26 inches or something. Um, and I made these denim trousers with elastic back. And honestly, they just look like, exactly like some that my 97-year-old grandma had. Um, I mean, I think it was cool that my grandma wore jeans when she was 97, but... I didn't really want to be wearing the same type of trousers but anyway I adjusted them I made them um, paper bag waist put a different waistband on them and they look a lot better you'll be pleased to know anyway this jacket that they've used with this with the suit I really like I think this suit looks really cool then they've got a really gorgeous tailored jacket it's like a riding jacket they've called it a blazer but to me it looks like a riding jacket I really like that I think that's a really nice item the slacks again another jacket with a peplum like a pleated peplum it is really really nice I like that they've done some tailoring maybe I'll take back my dissing of the extended size range ones in this edition because I do like the tailored pieces that they've done I also like this dress it's a wrap dress but it's got these interesting pleats at the side and it makes gives it some nice shape I really like that then the kind of technical article is about constructing a concealed placket with buttons which I, they're always interesting to read just in case you learn something new and then we've got the preview of next month which should be out pretty soon so that is September Birder let me know what you thought did you agree with my opinions obviously you know obviously I'm going to give a perspective from my own style and what I like and don't like um, I realized that um, you may have some totally different opinions and obviously that's completely cool I hope you enjoyed hearing about this um, and hopefully I'll be back with you soon for a, another vlog love you lots don't forget to subscribe bye <laughs>